Ever been on the receiving end of a cheap shot, passive aggressive dig, or outright insult? How do you handle it when that happens? Well, that's what I'm covering in today's video. And be sure to stay tuned until the end because the last point is by far the most important. Let's do it. Hi friends, welcome to my channel. If it's your first time here, my name is Tammy M. Joyce. I'm the founder of Tammy M. Coaching and I run a powerful eight week transformational coaching program called the Freedom Class, specific to healing and recovery from codependency and narcissistic abuse. If that's of interest to you, be sure to stick around till the end of the video and I'll tell you how you can learn more about my programs. So how do you handle it when the narcissist feels entitled to hit you with a cheap shot, passive aggressive dig, or an outright insult. It's easy to say don't take it personal because it isn't actually personal. And although that may very well be true, let's be real. Narcissists go for the jugular. What's worse, they do it with smug on their face and enjoy the impact their toxicity has if and when it lands. So needless to say, not taking the narcissist personally is much easier said than done. And of course, ignoring their BS and taking the high road while putting some serious distance between you and the toxic toddler is always going to be your best bet. But what if that's not instantaneously doable? What then? Well, here are a few ways to make a narcissist instantly regret insulting you. First, maintain eye contact and do not flinch. When you suspect someone is taking a cheap shot or hitting you with a passive aggressive dig, pay attention and let them know you're paying attention by maintaining eye contact. Here's the thing. Bullies are actually cowards to their core. Not always, but often enough, this technique alone will be enough to send a clear warning and cause the narcissist to either backpedal or back off entirely. Now that said, you want to be sure you're not jumping to conclusions. So always take a moment to consider the other person's intent. If for any reason, like for example, you're caught off guard and you're not really sure what just happened, especially if you don't know the person well, consider giving them the benefit of the doubt initially and with eyes wide open. Maybe they're nervous or socially awkward. And that anxiety is coming out sideways and you just happen to be the one standing there in the wrong place at the wrong time, so to speak. So consider the other person's actual intent and consider being compassionate enough to give someone a pass if it's just a matter of social anxiety and a one-off or, you know, as opposed to someone coming from an actual place of malevolent intent. So that's your first job. Discern whether or not they're actually coming from a place of malevolence. If not, let it slide and move on. Water off a duck's back. Your strong eye contact and deadpan facial expression, in addition to their own social awkwardness, should be enough to put an end to the nonsense. However, if that's not actually the case, if they clearly feel entitled to target you, if there's no doubt, then that's a whole other ball game. A rule of thumb I live by is this, when in doubt, don't. And what I mean by that is, if you're unsure, be patient, observe, with intent to discern. Breathe and feel into your body and pay attention to the truth of what you're feeling, always. People being the way they are, you'll quickly know what the deal is. And more often than not, it's better to underreact as opposed to overreact. So hold on to yourself, again, breathe and maintain eye contact with no expression. Just go deadpan on them. This communicates that you're aware, clued in, and not necessarily going to be a good target if that's their actual intent. Now that said, when it's clear that they're taking a shot at you, no matter how passively or aggressively that might be, then you're going to want to find a way to let them be forewarned. Again, while maintaining eye contact as well as a confident posture, give them a half smile, chuckle, or communicate your exasperation and rapidly diminishing patience by breathing in and exhaling nice and loud like this. This lets them know in no uncertain terms that you're onto them. And if they persist, it's not likely to go well. 
Always strive to be the bigger person, remain calm, poised, polite, and respectful, stoic even. But that doesn't mean you have to be anybody's target. You're no pushover. But neither are you easily baited, triggered, or manipulated. Now that said, once it's clear you're dealing with someone intent on either offending or getting a rise out of you, put them on the hot seat by calling out their poor behavior. You can do this simply by asking a direct question like, what do you think you're doing? Or what are you trying to accomplish by saying such a thing? Or make a clear and direct statement like, that's an interesting remark. I wonder why you'd feel entitled to say such a thing. And silence. Maintain strong eye contact, confident body posture, breathe into your body, and not another word. Another good one a sponsor I once worked with many years ago taught me is this. Simply say, can you repeat that please? This causes them to have to say what they've just said again, now with all eyes and ears on the situation. Not only do they have to hear themselves and the ludicrousness of what they've just said, but everyone else gets to hear it loud and clear too for what it is. When they repeat the cheap shot or insult or passive aggressive dig, just reply with, oh, I thought that's what I heard. And silence, not another word. While you sit there calm and strong, maintaining eye contact and maybe a knowing look or a half smile. Now, if when asked to repeat what they just said, they reply with something like, no, <laughs> just shake your head and say, yeah, that's what I thought. And sigh with exasperation, letting them know you've just exposed them for the coward they actually are. The point here is to expose them and their toxic little antics while simultaneously remaining completely unfazed while also clearly communicating that, again, you're nobody's pushover. Not a good target here. Go find someone else to play with. Another option is to give them a quizzical look and ask, I'm sorry, who are you? The quizzical look that communicates this person isn't even important enough for you to know who they are. Never mind be the least bit concerned with whatever stupidity they may be spewing in the moment. Then look at your nails as if they are far more interesting than the narcissist or anything they have to say could ever be. Now, obviously this isn't going to work in every situation, but when the person in question is a virtual stranger, this can be very effective in establishing your position in the dynamic. Again, not a good target. Beat it. Now. However you choose to handle whatever it is that's coming at you, you want to handle it in a way where you remain completely unaffected. Even if internally that's not the case, poker face your way through it if you have to. But whatever you do, do not give them the satisfaction of knowing that their cheap shot, passive aggressive dig, or insult got to you at all. That's exactly what they want. And the last thing you want to do is to give a narcissist what they want. So do not engage, do not defend yourself, and definitely do not attempt to refute the insult or whatever cheap shot may be coming your way. Neither do you want to go tit for tat since that just keeps you in the game, right where the narcissist wants you. Now comment below and let me know whether or not you're finding value in this video. Let me know in the comments section below. Also, if you're struggling with narcissistic abuse in any area of your life, you're likely an excellent candidate for my eight week transformational coaching program, the Freedom Class. If that's of interest to you, there's a link in the description below where you can apply to see if you qualify for a free one-on-one -on -one consultation with either myself or a member of my team. Now, if they don't stop, either remove yourself from the situation or ask them to leave, whichever is most appropriate. You don't have to be held hostage by anyone. If you're in an environment where someone, anyone feels entitled to take a shot at you, no matter how subtly or not so subtly, no matter how much they may try to pass it off as a joke while they claim you're too sensitive or that you're the issue because you don't have a sense of humor, get the hell out of there. Do not stand still and allow toxic people to target you ever under any circumstances, no matter who they are, leave immediately.
And if you can't leave immediately, then figure out an exit strategy and leave as soon as humanly possible. And do not go back. Alternatively, if this is happening on your own home turf, then tell them to leave. Calmly, clearly, politely, respectfully if possible, not so respectfully if necessary. Either way, tell them to get the hell out. I once found myself in the strange position of having someone at my dinner table who thought it was a good idea to tell me about my home province of Quebec, Canada. Admittedly, a province that is much hated by many in the redneck western province where I was living at the time. Among other things, this person went so far as to say all Quebecers should be shot. Not some, not one, all. Now clearly, my husband had made a mistake by inviting a complete and utter imbecile to dinner, and it's not a mistake he's likely ever going to make again. But regardless, given the nature of the comments Bobo the Albertan clown felt comfortable making at my dining room table after I fed him dinner, no less, I calmly looked at him and said, Okay, you can leave now. To my surprise, he was actually stunned. I did mention he was a first class imbecile, right? So I followed up with, you can use the front door or the back door, choose one. Now, he got up and walked to the door so rattled that he actually struggled to get his boots on. And when my husband confronted him the next day, he had no reasonable explanation. Shocking, I know. What possessed this idiot to say the things he said to an Irish Montrealer, full-blown Anglo-Quebecois and proud of it, not to mention a woman in her own home, is beyond anything I'll ever understand. Regardless, the point I'm making is I didn't have to sit there and take it. Get the bleep out, please. Now, with all of that said, there is such a thing as friendly banter and lighthearted teasing between good friends, so obviously this is different. When that's the case, you simply want to be confident and genuinely find humor in the teasing, assuming it's not hurtful. In a situation like that, it's completely appropriate to smile or laugh along with the joke. Let's not take ourselves too seriously. We ought to be able to laugh at ourselves within reason. But when that's not what's going on and you know it, it's important that you are able to not only display strong boundaries, but also have the confidence to cut toxic bullies from your life when they show you who they are by feeling entitled to passively or openly insult or target you in any way. That's not you being too sensitive, lacking a sense of humor, or taking yourself too seriously. That's just self-respect, friends. And that's a choice, one you need to make because nobody else is going to make it for you. And with that, I'm going to call it a wrap. But don't stop now. I have well over a hundred more videos right here on YouTube for you to watch to help you better understand the detrimental effects of narcissistic abuse. And more importantly, learn what you need to do now to heal from the abuse. So you can start living your best life in peace, confidence, and freedom. And if you want to go deeper with me, go to TammyMCoaching.com and learn about my unique tried and true process garnered over decades of experience and learn how you can become my client.